food prices in Africa have skyrocketed since the onset of COVID-19, affecting millions across the continent. And as CNN's Nick Mudimba now reports, many people are having to adjust their lifestyles to a tough and unforgiving economic environment. The food security situation in Africa isn't getting any better and households across the continent are feeling the pinch of increased food prices. We visited Darin Katiba, a mother of three boys who is struggling to feed a family in Nairobi, Kenya. Her purchasing power has gone down. She, like many others in Kenya, has had to adjust her budget to keep her finances stable due to the high cost of food. I had to make simple meals in the morning, like I'll make spaghetti and eggs. I will buy indoor meal and add with some stew so that I don't have to use so much in buying, you know, three breads, how? So we had to cut costs on such things. If it was more cereals, you balance. Cereal once a week, uji, and uh, the things they love. I have been shopping for a month. Now I do it every two weeks. We accompanied her to a local market to see for ourselves how much life has changed for her and her family. She opted to buy leafy green vegetables which are rich in nutrients and also quite affordable. When I have two of them, I can make a meal. This one I use for making vegetables too. But now, because of what has happened, I can only afford one. It cost up to 45 cents previously, and now it's up to a dollar per cup. According to economists, climate change and COVID-19 lockdowns are just a few of the reasons why food prices have continued to go up in recent months. And the policies that make it difficult for food staffs to move across countries, people who can produce it cheap, or people who can produce more competitively, to where people need them. We need to eliminate that. Rising fuel prices have also worsened the situation in many African countries. Economists now warn that this wave won't be ending anytime soon. The chain is actually overstretched from producers, wholesalers, and of course retailers. It is actually a bad situation. Many of them are trying to fit in for survival. Nick Mudimba, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.